G'day viewers, welcome to another video. Before we get started, I'd like to ask, could you please hit the like button? Uh, it helps me with the YouTube algorithm and will help them decide who to share it to. Uh, it just pro progresses my channel, uh, helps me out. And also, if you haven't subscribed, could you please do that? Because 75% of my viewers aren't subscribed. It would mean a lot to me, it helped me grow my channel. Thank you. Okay, yeah, viewers, I was asked by one of my viewers to uh, show me, show him, show you guys how I make stannous chloride. I thought it was a bit strange since there's so many videos out there, and I've even made one myself in the past, but you know, it doesn't really matter you, what you guys want, you guys get. And there would be no channel without you guys and it's really simple to make so I don't mind basically anytime you soak anything in hydrochloric acid to remove silver um, not silver solder from the boards which we will remove tin you've, you've made stannous chloride but for what it's worth whenever I depopulate I use a heat gun and I heat the board up, I go over a tub and I whack it on the edge of the tub so everything falls off. But in doing so, I get a lot of splatter of solder, mainly down the side of the tub and on the on the bottom of the tub. And what I do is I I catch it in it, I pick it up, put it in a container like this. Okay. You don't need to have a certain amount. This is probably way overkill. Probably don't need anywhere near this much. And I don't even need to make it because I've got so much of it. But that's what I do. I collect up a whole pile of solder. And then I put hydrochloric acid. And that's all it is. Hydrochloric acid and solder. You know, if you wanted to, you could just cut some solder off a roll. You wouldn't need to have it in this form. So, doesn't need to be a certain amount. Just, you know enough to cover it and then some and then you let it dissolve put on the heat if you can if you haven't got a hot plate just put it out in the sun you can see there's already a reaction it's already starting to fizz and bubble but I'll put it on the heat anyway doesn't need to be very hot and uh, most of that will dissolve and what you'll be left with is some black I don't know how you class how you call it it's like I just call it black stuff black sediment black leftover and it's actually a metastatic acid and you filter it off and that's it it's as simple as that so when that's dissolved I'll put a filter in this beaker and filter off the solution, catching all the metastatic acid and whatever solder hasn't dissolved. You know, there might not be enough hydrochloric acid there for that much solder. And I don't need to waste any more. I've got plenty of it. So once that's not fizzing anymore, that's definitely going to be good enough. I'll filter off and show you. And then I'll show you with some gold solution that it tests positive. Now, I hear time and time again people saying that stannous chloride doesn't last very long. That is absolutely not true. I haven't made stannous chloride for three years. I've still got some left over. I think the secret is to put it in a dark container. So this is the container that I use to do tests and as you can see you can't see through it so you don't want a glass one or a plastic one that's clear you want like this so it doesn't let the light in same with the the bulk of my um, stannis I've got a jar about so big and it's the same thing it's a white plastic container no light can get into it and then when this bottle is empty 
when this bottle's empty, I pour some into it. The main bottle is out on my shelf. Like I said, I made it three years ago and there's still plenty there. And from time to time, I test this just to make sure that it works. Um, if I know that I've got gold in solution and I do a test and it doesn't work, I'll check it against some gold bearing solution that I know I've got put aside for testing. And if it doesn't work then, I know it's going good. But three years and it still works. So don't believe people who say it only lasts a week or a couple of months or... It's just not true. Maybe if they have it in a glass container that's see-through, maybe if the light can get to it, it probably destroys it. But in, in a container like this, I haven't found it to be um, destroyed and it still works. So I'll be back when that's uh, finished doing what it's doing and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is finished. I guess it was in there for about uh, half an hour to an hour. There's only the tiniest little bit of silver, but as you can see, most of it's all black. Can you see the, the black in there? So we don't want that. It's the metastatic acid. So we uh, filter it out. And the clear solution is our stannis. It's that simple. So let's get this filtering happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. It shouldn't matter that it's hot because I'm using coffee filters and they're designed for hot coffees, obviously. Now we just wait for that to filter through and uh, cool down and store it somewhere, store it in a bottle. I, since I've made it, and even though there's nothing wrong with my old stannis, I might as well update it, but I wouldn't have needed to do this. I'm only doing it for you guys. Um, but obviously it makes sense to replace what I've got with the new stuff. See if I can wipe out the metastatic acid out of this beaker. Let's see, we've got a whole pile of black stuff in there. Hard to get my hands in these, they're so small. I have to take it inside and use the scrubbing brush, I think. One of these days the glass is going to break on my hand. And there you go guys, we're left with a nice clean solution. Had to filter out the junk. Now I'll show you on some gold bearing solution how this works. Alright, so I've got some gold solution here. And let's get a little bit on some paper. And we'll try this new stannis that I made. It should go black. There you go. That's a positive for gold using the stannis we just made. So that's all you have to do. It's so simple. And half the time you end up making it by default when you're soaking things in hydrochloric acid to remove solder. So you don't even need to go out of your way to do it. And that's all you have to do, guys. So I hope that helps some people. And... Uh, Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.